Hi guys, on behalf of Neutronics, I'd like to welcome you all to our Raspberry Pi 3 tutorial series. Today, we here at Neutronics are going to show you how to turn your Raspberry Pi 3 into a Kodi slash XBMC media server. We will go in depth on all the materials you will need, as well as a step by step tutorial guide. Without further ado, let's begin. To begin, we'll start with all the items you will need. Other than the Raspberry Pi 3, many of the items can be swapped with similar products. But before we go into the helpful accessories, let's talk a bit more about the Raspberry Pi 3. The device will be the core of our project, and we go in a bit more in depth with all the features and I.O. ports in our previous video, which is also linked in our channel. But I just want to reiterate that the RPi3 is more powerful than the previous generation, and it will be better equipped to handle live streaming as well as video playback. The device features the necessary HDMI port as well as the micro USB port where we can hook up our power supply. It also has the SD card slot where we will put all the software we need into our device. We also have the Anchor Bluetooth Ultra Slim keyboard. Um, we recently purchased this off Amazon, so we will link all the items we bought below. We all, in addition to the keyboard, we have the Anchor mouse as well. And all of this stuff is connected by a USB dongle which we can hook up to the Raspberry Pi 3 into one of the four USB 2.0 ports it does have. These peripherals are optional and can be swapped with similar products online such as keyboards that feature touchpads. So keep that in mind as we go forward with the video. Our storage device will be a 32GB microSD provided by Samsung and although 32GB is a bit too much, uh, we only need roughly 8GB. Here in Neutrons we like to go hard so we want to make sure we have a decked out machine. And if your personal computer doesn't have an SD card reader like mine, uh, we have a USB 3.0 Sabrent SD card reader uh, device that we can simply connect the microSD into and connect to our computer. And here's an HDMI cable we simply bought from Amazon Basics as well as a power supply. And I want to make sure this is a 5 volt 2 amp power supply because we want to make sure the device is fully powered and also has the best performance as well. So that's basically all the materials we need for our project today. And for the next part of the video, we're going to show you exactly how to install XBMC and Kodi onto your SD card. Stay tuned. So to begin, we're on the raspberrypi.org downloads page. And as you can see, we have a few options here. So we simply select the noobs option right here, which stands for new out of the box software. And it is an easy beginner installer we will be using for our project right here. So we simply click the download button and wait. And to make things a bit faster, I'm gonna go fast forward a bit right here after I click the download button. Um, it does take some time uh, to download depending on your internet connection. But once it completely downloads, we'll move on to the next part of our project, which includes formatting the SD card. So after a while, your download should be finished. And once it completely downloads, go to your downloads folder. And once you're in your downloads folder, you can definitely see the zip file, open it, and extract it to a directory of your choosing. We're simply extracting it onto the desktop, just to show you guys a bit easier. And after you complete the extraction, we can move on to the next part of our project. So once it's fully extracted, we're on our desktop right now, and you can see the folder right there. Uh, and it has a lot of boot files necessary to be on the storage device of your choosing. And we go to we go to my computer and choose the, your storage device, and we have to format it to make sure it's fresh and clean, ready to put whatever we want to put on it. We simply did a quick format because we knew there was nothing in it before, but you can do a full format just for your liking. Once we're done with that, we simply open up the extraction folder and copy and paste all the contents onto the empty SD card. Uh, this process may take uh, some bit of time depending on how fast your computer is, but once it's done, your XBMC media server slash Kodi player will be working and ready to go. As you can see, we fast forwarded the video a little bit all the way to 100%. And for the next part, I want to make sure you guys hook up your device to the TV with all the peripherals and all the power supplies and insert your SD card. Once you have everything set up, I want you guys to boot the device. And after initial boot setup, you should see something like this. And I want you to select the highlighted button called Open ELEC, E L E C. I want you to select that and install it. After the installation, your device should reboot and go into the Kodi player. After all that, your device is now ready to go. Your Raspberry Pi 3 has turned into a Kodi player slash XBMC media server. You should now be able to configure your application to do live streaming, video playback, everything your heart desires, and fulfill your media needs. So that's all guys. On behalf of Neutronics, I'd like to thank you all for watching our video today. We have many more projects in mind for you guys. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on our video. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at Neutronics, our Facebook page, and our website. Damn, that was a mouthful, guys. <laughs> but we're just trying to make sure our social media game is on point. Thank you again for all your support, and as always, stay tuned.